Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. I'm a full-time reseller in both Poshmark as well as eBay. My Poshmark closet name is Shipping Joy and today I'm doing another denim thread up box. It's 15 pounds and you pay $29.99 unless you get free shipping. I did not this time. So um, I've done an, several other videos which are listed below on different thread up boxes, rescue boxes as they call them, meaning that they can have flaws. And so if they do have flaws or damage, um, it's just the luck of the draw. And so the last two boxes I wasn't too thrilled with, um, but again, it's usually the stuff they cannot sell on their site. So it's to be expected. And every once in a while you get a really good box or some good items. I do normally make my money back plus a little bit more. Um, so, but during this time I'm just buying them just so I can fill my closet and keep my algorithm going. Um, so let's take a look inside. Here's the box right up here. Um, they are pretty heavy. Um, and they always have the, um, I haven't looked inside, but I did open up the famous uh, receipt and beautiful dotted tissue paper that I reuse because um, it's pretty. So anyway, let's get started. I'm just, they're always folded pretty nice. At least the boxes I have received, they all are folded. Um, I have gotten up to, I think, 22 pairs of denim items for the 15 pounds. The last two boxes uh, were a little less. I got about only about 13 to 14 um, items in each box. And there were a couple items I had to just throw away because they were just too badly damaged. So this box, let's get started. Hopefully it's a lot better. I hope you guys are hanging in there on this quarantine. Let me sit up a little bit more for you. All right, so the first one I see, who has some bling. Um, oh, it's Paige, it's the old, um, label for page denim jeans it looks like it's a size 29 it's called benedict canyon boot i have sold this um, particular style before i've been doing this for it'll be two years in july full time well i should say part time because i don't work many hours i work about 20 hours a week and when I was doing well, <laughs> before all this started, um, between eBay and Poshmark, I was making up to $6,000, five to 6,000, sometimes less. Of course, it varied every month, um, depending upon how much I was working. So I'm doing pretty well, I was, not, so, not recently, um, but my inventory is definitely down in the dumps lately. So anyway, let's get back to it. Page Denim, Boot Cut, they are medium wash and I always check the zippers. It looks like it's kind of a mid to low rise, but yeah, these look good and they'll probably, oops, sell because of the bling on the back. This is pretty cool. So at least they're a little different. So I'm happy with that one. Probably $15 for that one because it's page, but it is the older style and boot cut really isn't it. Oh, we can, looks like we got some JLo. Now JLo, I don't even think she has a clothing line anymore and this looks, Definitely a junior's, which it says junior size zero. So if you want some vintage J-Lo in the house and some pockets, that is gonna be in my closet. Looks like definitely low rise, which probably only J-Lo can wear these days. But um, they're in fair condition, good condition. Not a great brand. I don't even know if anybody's selling that anymore because she's not making it anymore. I think it's sold at I know she has a new line that she sells, I think still at Kohl's, um, but that I don't know. Anyway, let's pull out the next pair. Next pair is Levi's. I've gotten a lot of Levi's in my boxes. This is 501's waist 30, um, length 32. And it's got the button fly, which I always like to see because people seem to like the button fly. I think these are men's, um, straight legs. So that's good, I like those. I think those will do okay. I'll have to check. I don't usually pick up men's anymore. Um, it seemed like about a year ago, I was doing pretty well with men's. I'd pick up some men's and sell it, but lately, not very well. I guess I'm picking up the wrong brands, but not really a big, okay now. Next up, sorry, Trina. Thought, I'm getting Old Navy. In every box, I get a couple pieces of Old Navy. So not too thrilled about that, but obviously that's not selling well or they're oversaturated at thread up with Old Navy. These are size eight 
boot cut jeans, mid wash. Look like they're in decent condition. Condition, I should say rather. Um, looks like almost mid or high rise. So again, this is something you're most of the boxes I get at least have that in uh, Old Navy in there. Probably get ten bucks, maybe. Um, oh, I see something fun. I love fun prints. This one is Target Massimo skinny jeans, size, oopsie, size five. So look at this print, guys. This is fun. I like the print, especially for spring. Massimo is not really sold at Target anymore. I don't think it's because of the scandal of what's going on with them. But I think they were kind of getting uh, Massimo out of their... Uh, out of Target for some new brands anyway. Not that Massimo is struggling. Um, but anyway, so size five, but I do like the print. And I really did like the brand. Um, he was doing some great work. Great designer, clearly. So probably 10 bucks. Um, looks like they're in good condition. Another brand that I usually see all the time at TJ Maxx, D Jeans, um, size eight. They're black. Oh, wait a minute here. We got a... Not quite a Bermuda, really not a crop. I don't know what you call, I guess a Capri crop. I'm gonna go with that. So not a dark, dark black, but looks like they're in good condition. I can feel that they have st good stretch. So that's always good. Probably getting 10 bucks. Let's keep going. Oh, I know this uh, style, but it's, I don't know if this is considered the older tag. J brand never really sells one for me. I mean, their pants sell for like 200 bucks, but if you can get 20 bucks these days on most of their styles, you're lucky. This is a gray wash, not to be a Debbie Downer, but this is a good, looks good. Um, gray is not a sought after color, at least not in my closet, but I have sold a lot of gray jeans and this looks like in great condition. So pleased with that. Maybe I'll get 15 on that. 15, woo! Oh, looks like we got some more Massimo. Mid-rise jegging, size zero. Oh, these are distressed at least. Oh, thank God for distressing. That saves the day. When you get some distressing, which I say on every video, it amps up the price at least by like $5. So I like those. Um, halfway done. Let's see what's next. Do, do, do. Oh, we got some Joe's jeans. I'm not sure if this is the older tag. I think it is. Um, Joe's jeans. Let's see what this one's called. Size 25. Provocateur. I've sold this style many times. Not many times. I'm being dramatic. Maybe like four or five times. Size 25. And let's see how they look. Oh, it looks like either somebody did some distressing on the back. It's got a little distressing on it. That's odd though, because it's just on the back. So you never know with that, but so just point it out. Looks like it's a boot cut. Oh, it has a little, dis I don't know if this is distressing. It looks like it's almost distressed the way it is, or, but obviously it's probably just torn. Maybe somebody tried to start um, distressing them and then they gave up. <laughs> I'm not sure, but these, this is the older style, pretty sure. So anyway, there is that. So it looks like more, considered damage as opposed to uh, actual distressing. Next up, we have another, oh, White House Black Market. I was gonna say it looks like a, I don't know, some of these fabrics look like old, outdated. Well, I guess they are, but this is White House Black Market size four. And this is a higher end brand in the mall, but it doesn't sell for that much at least the jeans for me online. But anyway, White House Black Market looks to be in good condition. The hem looks like it's been done. Sometimes you can look at the hem and it looks like it's a little bit uh, wider than it would be if it was hemmed uh, normally. So I'm gonna have to list that that I'm not sure. It looks like the same thread, but I'm not sure about that. So whenever I'm not sure about something, when I list something, I just put it in there as possibly a flaw instead of somebody saying, oh, you, you know, you didn't mention that. So I mentioned everything, even if I'm not sure. Okay, next one up, we got some Christopher Banks. I never picked this brand up because I know it doesn't sell well. Size 14, at least a good size, but um, 
It's like a, I don't know, straight, I guess it's straight leg. Mm -hmm. At least it's plus size. So anyway, there's that. Oh, we have a brand I finally love to sell. It's the older uh, tag, but I love Torrid. Let's take a look at it before I get excited. Size 16, love Torrid. Ah, uh, some dis, mm, I don't know if that's just, oh yeah, well, I guess so, yeah. Distressing here, but it looks more like a hole. So there we are, not sure if somebody tried to do it, but there we have that. Size 16, it does have like the raw hems. So maybe it was blown out, distressed, destroyed, which some people like. So size 16. So I love toward the, uh-oh, look, look, here we go. Got too excited too fast. It's got some paint marks. Or wait, oh no, I'm sorry, my bad. It's supposed to be there. It's like a leaf, um, leaf print. That's strange. But that's definitely part of it. Okay. This got this one pair of jeans has stuff going all over the place. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But let's let's go with that. All right, pair of white jeans. Let's see. I haven't seen this. Uh pair of white jeans. Okay, Uniglow. I've sold that maybe once or twice. Size 36 waist, 34 long. So pair of white jeans. Looks like skinny jeans. So that's a good one. I like that one. Uniglow is not a high-end brand. It's kind of like price like H&M, but it sells okay. All right, we just have a few left. Oh, we got another Torrid. T -t -t Torrid. I think that's a newer label, size 10. And they're distressed, and they have like some color blocking. Love these shorts. Ooh, I could wear those shorts. Love these shorts. That's a good one. So a couple that aren't bad. And last but not least before at the usual counting of how many are inside, this one is, again, like I told you, we always get at least one or two Old Navies. This is the Rockstar though, which is a more sought after style at least, size 14, size 14, which is good. And Rockstar, I'm happy with this one. This box was definitely better than my last. Well, yeah, I think it's a little bit better than the last two boxes. They're pretty similar. This one I would rate um, one being the, really good and five being bleh. This one I would rate about a three. So I think the last one I gave it two and a half. In terms of flaws, they were pretty good too. Of course, I have to recheck everything, you know, wash some that need to be washed or steamed to disinfect the other ones, what have you. Um, and I got it all over my hands. <laughs> Wish me luck, um, but yeah, so uh, I will recheck everything, but I'm pretty happy with that. Let's count and see now how many I got, because the last box I got 13, which I would have liked to see one or two more, and the bus box was busted, so I don't know. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, a lot of plus sizes, which is good, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and another good thing, no kids or baby stuff in this one like the last two. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So let's just say I sell everything for ten dollars, or I should say profit ten dollars. That would be hundred and fifty dollars on Poshmark. Um some I might get a little less for, some I might get a little more. So I will make my money back. I'm 100% sure of that. But in terms of work you put into it, I don't know about this back. Oh, look, I sold something else. I love when I sell something. Sold something in my car, you guys. So that's when my finger goes up. Seems like I sell more when I do videos. Maybe I should just stay on and just leave it on the whole time. Maybe I'll just do a live and just sit here and stare out the window, which is a lot of what I do out of my day. I'm just kidding. I do do other things, but there is a lot of staring too involved these days of confusion about what's going on in the world. Anyway, if you stayed this long, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming and checking out my video. Um, if you like this kind of content, as everybody says, I will be doing a lot more of this plus other things. Who knows what I'll be doing? Shoot, I'm trying to do some weight loss now, some exercise. I keep saying, and the more I'm going to do that exercise I saw that lady do on Tone Up, 
I don't know what happens by six o'clock. I'm like, oh, I didn't do it. And then I'm like, oh, it's time for Netflix. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Again, my name is Kim. My Poshmark closet name is Shipping Joy. And eBay is for Shipping Joy. I'll link that down below somewhere. And uh, please subscribe and like all my videos. Go back and watch them. Some are funny, some are dull. I don't know. Leave me a comment below. Um, thank you again. Have a great day. Bye, guys.